Hey, Brian from Garage Wall. Today I have the X Tool IP900, and as you can tell, it is rather big. So let's open this up and see what we get inside. Right away, I love the fact that it has a carrying case. So I do a lot of like mobile service. So this will definitely come in handy. I love that the fact that like you got a nice rugged case. I mean, it's got like this nice foam to it. So uh, like if you're a mechanic like me, you just throw stuff in the back of your truck or, you know, inside the cab. So this will definitely work to protect this. Let's get that plastic off. So that is the tool itself. It's got kind of like these rubberized handles on the side. It has your USB-C port here for charging. And then it has your cable hookup here. That's your power switch. And I think that is just a little decoration on there. So that's the back of it. So it's got a little camera. It's got a kickstand to it. open up this other side so you have all your little accessories here so you have your data port cable here then you have your USB-C and then you have your OBD2 so that will plug into the back of this so that's going to be your main adapter that you'd be testing on most vehicles. But I love how it has the data cable, so if you have some other stuff that you need to diagnose and get in there. It comes with these little Velcro straps. Super nice. Super nice. I love that. Let's see what we get in here. A whole bunch of other little accessories. Man, this thing's like loaded with stuff. All right, so. You get some different electrical adapters, so for like international. So if you're traveling international, you got that covered. It has a little USB to USC adapter here. So, and then this is your charging block, which is great. So like this kit has everything that you need to get up and going. So you can plug it directly in there, or if you wanted to charge it, you know, through something else, you had this little USB adapter as well. I mean, they thought of everything. This is really good. So, with this cable, let's open this up. And we'll actually get the scanner charging before we go outside and then just run through all the different menus and stuff that this, this does. So, again, here's a USB port. Open that up. We'll slide the USB-C in there. And then we use the included power block to get this charging. So, and it's automatically kind of like turned on. Actually, it's better if I sit there without the glare so you can see that coming on. But I love it's got all these little accessories. That's, that's pretty awesome. So, so it's at 71%, which is like great right out of the box. So, you know, you have probably at least a you know, enough charge to start doing some stuff. Um, yours may vary. It might be higher than 71, might be lower than 71%. But, I mean, right off the bat, I'm just impressed at how it's kind of like all in one and ready to go. So, let's turn a power button on and see if there's any initial stuff that we need to do before we get outside. And just hold it in for a couple seconds. And that will boot up for you. Nice little start menu. Startup screen router. So it gives you a nice little welcome screen and it wants you to touch that and then we're going to set up English 
and it's looking for Wi-Fi so let me just take that off the screen and we will use and it puts up a nice little keyboard here obviously for privacy reasons I won't show you this But it showed like all the Wi-Fi connections in the house. Okay, so it's saying connected. And then that brings you back to initializing the configuration. <clears throat> so that was really easy to set it up to the Wi-Fi. Now it's actually doing an update. It's pretty fast. Okay, so it's going to have you do a setup process. Let me just do that. Very nice keyboard. Sorry, I was concentrating. So it says basically subscription expires in 1,095 days. So you got a lot of stuff going on there. Um, it's asking for an update again. So it's updating pretty quick. So that's a it's a good thing. It stays updated. So it's asking for a couple installs. I'm just not showing you the screen yet because it has my serial number and stuff up on here. Okay, so now I can show you the screen again. So basically, it's kind of hard to see all the icons while I go through. It's got a calendar, a camera, contacts, clock. It's got an email setup, music, sound recorder, calculator. Um, has Adobe on here, quick support, the diagnostic software, settings, gallery, video, explorer, and Chrome. So if you're working on a car, sometimes like, you know, you end up taking your uh, phone out, trying to surf the web and stuff. It has a browser built in here. So you have everything right here. So you can, you know, get a diagnostic code and then you can look on the web and see what it is, recommend repairs. I mean, this, this does it all. So let's go to diagnostics. So that's what it's doing is setting it up for you. Checking configuration file. And again, this is all like the initial setup process. After you get this up and running, I'm sure everything will move a lot smoother and faster. And it's cool. You can charge it as you're doing updates and whatever you have going on. So right on here it has basically you know diagnostics special functions reports updates it says it's got 89 updates yet to do so let's get the updates up and pumping uh, we'll hit update all and this is just it's updating a bunch of different vehicles and diagnostic settings on here and it does it pretty quick and again great stays up to date for you and we'll scroll up touch screen is and it looks like it's got like this little protector on it but if you're like me you know you're gonna get greasy and everything else well I'll probably leave this on as long as I can until it kind of falls off by itself <clears throat> and so you can kind of like see it sorry for the glare but and just from the looks and feels of this this is got probably every diagnostic thing on here that you're gonna gonna need 
and it is charging as we go. Uh, the battery is at 71 now, it's at 75%, so it actually charges really fast with this. So it's got a lot to download still. Okay, so I'm gonna let this download. It looks like it's installing as it's downloading each, each little module as it goes. So it's gonna take a little bit. So let me let this go and we'll continue this back out on one of my vehicles and we'll just run through all the diagnostic menus and what this actually does. But so far, you know, it, it's, good, it's gonna do a lot for you. So uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is your cable that you're gonna be hooking up. So this is with the OBD2 connection. And then this is gonna plug into the back of the X tool. So if it set that in, and then it has two hand tight screws to screw that down on. So that's your OBD2. And on every vehicle, it's gonna be a little bit different. On this one, it is our 2018 Acadia. And it is right under here. Okay, so as soon as you plug it in, it will automatically turn on for you. So we're gonna select, and these are all the different things that you can do on this. You have your updates, which we had done before. You know, your X tool, auto scan, diagnostic, special functions, your reports. So basically just click on a vehicle. And then we can hit OBD2, or you can go by vehicle manufacturer. And again, because we just got this, it's going to be doing a lot of uh, updates as we go through. So this is your diagnostic menu. We'll just hit auto scan. We'll select this module. Read troubleshooting codes, stored codes. So then it's going to have catalytic system efficiency below threshold. We know we have a bad oxygen sensor in here, so that's what that indicates, the P0420. And if you look, you can see the check engine light kind of hiding behind that needle. Okay. So what we'll do is we can go back on this and we can hit trouble, clear trouble shooting codes. And it's going to ask if you want to clear them. We do. We're going to hit OK. And then if you can check, the check engine light is off. Because we know we have to repair that oxygen sensor. But in the meantime, it does cause the cruise control not to work properly. So, and then we can go back. And it has a bunch of other different things that we can do. Okay, depending on the module, we're going to select this module to go into the live data mode for our vehicle. And then it's going to bring up all the modules that you have available to you. So you can basically kind of like scroll up and you can see all your live data as it's going through, like engine RPM. And as you scroll, it'll update oxygen sensor output voltage that's what we're our check engine light was referring to I mean all this data just there's so much data in here that you can go through so these are going to be basically all live data you can do and you can you know record it you can pause it so you can see exactly where you are depending like if you uh, increase like the RPM you can pause it you can go back back through the menus, and then you can go into a, um, where you're looking for your specific vehicle. So we are gonna look for GMC. So up here, we can go into the different makes and models. So this is European. That's gonna be your Asian vehicles. I go into your 
American, China, Australia. I mean, it's just there's so much information. So we're going to go into our uh, GMC. And then we're going to go into auto detection. So then it's going to basically pull up the information on this vehicle. We're going to hit OK. And then it's going to communicate. And then we can do like an automatic scan. And it'll go through and it'll scan all the modules. So I actually picked up a instrument cluster problem, which I wasn't aware of. So again, it's just like going through every single module that's on a vehicle and it's finding some faults. And some other faults too is that we've had this vehicle sitting for a little bit. So, but okay, so it's basically done scanning everything. So you can see like, it, so it came up with a human machine interference control module, instrument cluster, which is there. And then as we scroll through, everything else seems like it's okay. So we're actually going to clear all this data and hopes that, okay, so everything seems like it passed the second round through. So that's good. So you can clear any errors that are there or go through, find out what the actual issue is. If it reoccurs after you've cleared it and then you know exactly what you have to have to fix. Or if it was just like a, you know, just like a weird thing from the vehicle sitting or what have you. But again, just an enormous different exit yet. And then uh, you can go through all sorts of different calibration process, system selections. So like if you just wanted something specific, like we had that weird error on the instrument cluster, you can click on that. And then uh, like heads up display that was on here. So you can, I mean, it's just practically endless. Transmission control module. So you can go through there. Um, and module identification data you can go through and you just can check like all the information on that the dealer select but again this is all features that you're not going to get in some of these simpler OBD2 and again you have the pad that you can back all the way out of And then you have all these other selections and then you can go to your home screen okay. so along the bottom here if you just kind of like go up you have a couple things like you can take a picture of the screen so if you're doing like any freeze frame stuff you can take a picture of that for go back for reference um, basically this is like the main screen you can actually do a recording of the screen with this button down here in the right hand side and then to get out of this you can basically kind of go to that which will give you kind of like some of these other screens that you have open and then back to like kind of like your main screen where you can access all your internet functionality and everything else but again it's just there's so much to this but this is going to be the uh, first and foremost scanner that you're going to need for your vehicle fleet everything is in here every module, every transmission piece, engine, ECU, uh, everything easy to find. Just scroll through the stuff. But anyway, so much information packed in this little kit here. Um, Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching and be safe out there.